Okay. Hello and welcome to the inaugural Security Open Source Workshop. So, um, Brennan Dolan Gavitt, I'm a professor here at NYU Tandon, formerly NYU Poly. So, um, I just wanted to say maybe a couple words to start with um, about sort of why we wanted to put this together. I mean, the most obvious reason is that I think that, you know, security and open source are basically the same as chocolate and peanut butter, that they are better in combination, even though they're both good individually. So, you know, having a sort of robust ecosystem of open source security tools is I think really vitally important for having a strong community. And, you know, this takes a lot of forms. One is that it lets us know really how the software that we're using actually works, right? It gives us the opportunity to peek under the hood, right? So when we're using Anger and it gives us magical results on a CTF challenge, we can actually peek into it and figure out where the magic is. And of course, for those times when it turns out software isn't perfect, we can figure out how to adapt the tools that we use to make them work for us, to make them work for our environment. And of course, we can actually make sure that they're working as intended, right? And this is maybe most important in areas like forensics, where if we have bugs in our software, they could, for example, send the wrong people to jail. Um, but I also want to talk about one sort of thing that was very personally important to me when I was sort of coming up in the security world, which is that they really provide us a space to learn and grow as security professionals, okay? So I feel like I actually kind of owe my career to open source security software. Um, you know, when I first started out, I just graduated uh, from undergrad and I had never actually really worked uh, on any programming project larger than a course assignment. And so I think one of the most common questions I get from people who are starting out is, you know, what can I do, what should I make, how can I, you know, get better? And, you know, this can be a really troubling question because, you know, there's this sort of huge space of possibilities and it's hard to know where to go. And so for me, having an open source project like Volatility, which is a memory forensics framework, um, was really critical, right? You know, I was working uh, in sort of a security related field um, and as part of something to do with work, we ended up with some memory images. And at the time, memory forensics was kind of a new field, just getting started. Um, and there was this uh, open source project uh, at the time called uh, Volatools, uh, later became Volatility. And so I, you know, started playing around with it, figured out, you know, it was all written in Python, which was lucky because that was one of the two languages that I actually knew at the time. Um, and one thing that really helped was that Volatility had a strong and supportive developer team that was happy to answer, you know, questions from a hapless newbie on IRC uh, for hours at a time. And so this really helped me figure things out. And, you know, I ended up writing new plugins for volatility, publishing papers on memory forensics, going to grad school, and well, here I am. Um, so I really kind of want to emphasize that, you know, if you're trying to figure out what to do, how to help, what you can, you know, use to improve your own skills, that open source can be a really great way for that. It's accessible, the people working on it almost certainly have more things to do then they have time to do them. And so if you can pick up one of these, uh, you know, open issues and work on it, improve things, you know, you can not only improve your own skills, but you can make the world a better place for everyone. Right? And, you know, it's rare enough that uh, people want to help that I found that good contributions are really pretty much always welcome. So, Without too much further ado, I want to introduce you to the people we'll, and projects we'll be hearing about today. So uh, we're going to be seeing presentations from a wide range of projects, uh, from things that are designed to do, uh, you know, to decompile software like FCD, dynamic analysis like Panda, some symbolic execution like Triton, 
um, a sort of general purpose binary platform in Angular. Um, some awesome memory forensics tools with volatility, which I already mentioned a little bit about. Um, and then some really interesting work on um, working with the DARPA Grand Challenge set uh, from Trail of Bits. Thank you.